What is going on everybody? I am back with another Rockstar Reacts and I'm very proud to bring this video today and watch this video. Uh, this is definitely a huge part of my history. It's basically, you know, I've been uploading YouTube videos for a while. Uh, this video is almost six years old and I was uploading probably uh, seven or eight months before this video actually went up. And this is my game over montage on top notch multimedia which was huge back in the day. If you got on top notch back in the day, you you were legit. And I was so pumped to get this video up. This is my first big montage I ever made. Uh, you know, mainly when I first got my capture card, I was mainly just using it for game battles. Uh, you had to have a capture card to have proof of your matches because people disputed all the time. If you didn't have proof, you usually lost your dispute because people would edit out stuff. Uh, in Photoshop, so I would I got a capture card mainly for that. Then I started making GB montages and just YouTube stuff. That's basically when I got into YouTube. Uh, once I got that capture card, I started making videos. I was already on the Grizz fanboy wagon, so you know I started off with the ACOG. But this video was something different than what was going on. Uh, a lot of people at the time were you know sniper lobbies were huge at this time around this time back in 2009 and ACOG sniper lobbies. All the videos you saw were ACOG sniper lobbies. So I wanted to be different. I decided to make a video where I used no ACOG and I did no sniper lobbies. And it was an instant hit. Everybody loved it. And it, you know, my channel that I had actually took off uh, back in the day. I had like over 2,000 subs on my channel back in 2009 after this video, which was huge. And I wish I never, like, I wish I still had my YouTube channel from back in the day. I actually sold it uh, very stupidly of me, I was not smart to do that. There's no telling where I'd be if I would have kept it, but um, that's a long story. I'm talking way too much. Let's go ahead and get into this montage. I'll talk a little bit more once we get this thing started. But let's go ahead and start in three, two, one, go. But this video, man, I tried my best to you know get a decent quality. Uh, the highest quality I could get was 480p, and just this whole video, man, it was edited by some random guy that one of my buddies found and he did pretty good uh, to be honest there's a lot of clips in this that I wish he wouldn't have used uh, I had probably 16 minutes worth of raw clips and of course it's a four minute video but uh, some of this stuff man my big thing was drag scopes back in the day I was that's all I did I'll have to try and find some other videos and, and knock those out with this little series but man, this video, as soon as it went on top notch, like, that, oh, that would have been a quad feed. That was split. I actually refrained from watching this uh, just so this my reaction would be, you know, a little more real. Because it's been over a year since I've watched this. Let's see. A little 360 stuff, man. This guy did pretty good. He, he didn't take all that long to do it. But he left out so many things. There's a quad feed. That was a triple. I hit marked the juggernaut guy. I remember that. Oh, I love this clip right here. I think this was actually a sniper lobby, to be honest, that I was in. This was supposed to be no sniper lobbies, but I think that one clip was a sniper lobby. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I had... Oh, hold on. I gotta talk about this clip. This is my favorite... One of my favorite clips. One piece, two piece, and then a collat right there. That would have been a quad feed. Had the gamer or the... the the uh, clan tag in. This was before anyone even really cared about quad feeds. I rocked the rock star gamer tag, or not gamer tag, ROK with a star as my clan tag in every single game I was in. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Boom. I was so pumped when I hit that. I remember that back in the day. Let's see what we got. A little shotgun thing. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, the guy that edited. I gave him 16 minutes of clips and this is what he came up with. A lot of these clips I don't think should be in here. I had some legit like quad feeds and some legit, you know, like five and one nades were huge back in the day. And I had like three of those things and the guy didn't use any five and one nades, none of my quad feeds I had. And after it, this video went up, I actually didn't even see it before it went up on the channel. Uh, I had a buddy named Eric. Uh, he, he went by Lucky back in the day. He was friends with Ebonics, who was a part of Top Notch Multimedia, 
and he's the one that actually got this video up on the channel and I just remember seeing it go up one day and I was just pumped I never even saw the video before it went up see I don't know why he put this little S&D pub match thing in but um yeah when it went up I, you know I didn't have the you know I couldn't say no I don't want this video to go up because it just went up I would have definitely had him use a lot of my other clips that he did not use because it would have been so much better. Oh, this was a this should have been a quad feed. It was split. I love this shot too. But after it went up, I was so mad that my video didn't have all the clips I wanted that I just uploaded 12 minutes of raw footage of all my clips. See, there goes a quad nade. He's putting three a three piece nades in S and D was the big closer uh, how how bad is that that's kind of embarrassing to be honest but death rat that was his name I remember now the outro was pretty good it was pretty pretty smooth but overall I you know I, I was so pumped about this this really you know set me off this is how I you know the first video that really got my name out there um, it was just you know so big to get on top notch back in the day and I actually had another video go up on Top Notch I believe no it went up on Hazard Cinema that was the other big community channel because community channels were how you got your name out there if you got on a community channel people were so much more respectful back in the day too people would actually subscribe to you whenever you had a big video go up and all of that they would leave their comments and let you know really what they thought it's so much different nowadays here's my game over the game over thing he tried to do so cheesy man jumping down in the well man but anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed this is one of my favorite videos I made my first big montage game over top notch multimedia I will have another one of these next Tuesday that's just gonna be a recurring thing I'm gonna keep doing these every Tuesday so you guys be on the lookout for that I don't know what I'm gonna do next week but I have a lot of videos I can do but once again I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to check this video out the raw video I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out but that is about it for me and I will talk to you guys later